Hi everyone, this is Kevin DeLeon, your learning consultant with Cengage Learning. Um, I wanted to make a video today about how to use the Applia app in MindTap and what it is. So we are inside a Western civilization uh, MindTap, and as I've spoken to probably all of you by now, um, each MindTap is a little bit different, um, but they all operate pretty much the same. So I wanted to kind of review it, and I've chosen this Western civilization MindTap to demo the Applia app. So what is the Applia app? Um, the Applia app is the um, activity sets or problem sets that we give to students um, to help them apply the knowledge that we've asked them to learn throughout the chapter, whether that's through um, reading the ebook, watching a video, taking a practice quiz, maybe a writing assignment, whatever we've had them do. We want them to come to the Applia activity, uh, wherever it's located inside the learning path for each chapter and actually apply that information so that they can develop and use those critical thinking skills. Um, the Applia uh, activities are specifically designed to help them with their critical thinking activities. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into one of the activities now, and then we're going to show you a way to customize some of those activities and change some settings around. So I've chosen Chapter 12 here. Okay. And in Chapter 12, Section 1, which is the section I'm in here, here is one of the atom, uh, the um, the uh, activities. And you can see it's called critical thinking activity. Okay, so we're going to click into it. And this is exactly what your students will see. They'll see how many questions are involved in this problem set. In this case, there's only one. You'll also notice that there's boxes for different attempts. Once your students are finished, they'll come back to the screen with scores in each one of these boxes. And they'll need to make sure that they click this box that says, I'm done, great assignment now. So we'll tap into the, the um, problem set. So what we want them to do is we want them to do a very small amount of reading, okay? And then we want them to answer a couple questions, in this case, two. Okay, so we're just going to choose an answer or two. And then the first time that the students are going to complete the activity, they click Grade It Now. After they get their results or their score, so I did not do very well, but that's okay because there's a bunch of explanation here underneath each question that I can open. The explanation here is unique in that it is very specific to the question above. It is not general feedback about the question. It's very specific. So this is a great item for your students to do. It's homework at home when you're not available where they can read and they can understand what was right or wrong and then apply that information and try it again. And that's exactly what we'd like them to do is to try it again. We want them to try it three times unless they maybe prove mastery on the first one. So this next thing that we're going to have them do is called try another version. Okay, so they're going to click it here to try it again. And here they go. The activity looks the same, but as you can see, it is different. So we've given them the same format. We've given them the same concept, but we've given them the details are different. And this really helps them and forces them to think critically because they can't just memorize. They have to understand the concept so they can apply the right answer when it's written in different ways. And then we want them to grade it now. Okay, again, there is feedback. Okay. And then a third time. Grade it now. Okay, so I didn't do very well. So my average was 2 out of 5, and this average is one of the settings that we can change. And then the students would click Continue. If there was another question in this problem set, they would move to it. If not, they would come to this screen, and once they're done, they would click I'm done, Great Assignment Now. And off they go. And for instructors, this is a really great way to help assess your students. They're activities that are already built. They're tied to the chapter. They're auto-graded. Um, and they help your students with something that instructors always tell us that their students need help with, which is critical thinking skills and needing to help uh, improve them. So this is a really great way that you can help get at both of those items. Now, if you want to change some items inside Applia, you can do it at the Applia app, which is over here all the way at the right on the bottom. Okay, and each one of your mind taps, it might be in a little bit of a different spot, but this one is here. So there's not a whole lot that we can change, but I want to talk about some of the things that we can change. The first thing that we can change is up here by this little gearbox where it says settings. Okay, you can choose grade at the due date or upon submission, whichever you like. And then the scoring average, do not harm or keep the highest. I usually instruct my instructors to choose keep the highest. And I do this um, because if students uh, prove mastery on the very first try, 
um, depending on how many problem sets you have in your mind tap. Um, sometimes it's a great idea to let them that be their score and move on, as opposed to if it's an average. Um, and then if they don't answer the other two, uh, that it could hurt their score. But that's really that's really your choice. And once you've made your selection, you can click save, okay, or cancel. So these are all the problem sets that are inside MindTap. And you'll know that they are inside MindTap because in this column that says in path, you will see a check mark. However, there are additional problem sets down here that do not have check marks. And these can be added into MindTap. So maybe using the athlete assignments might be one, okay? Since this is history, there's lots of primary sources in here. So if you're a history person and you love primary sources, you might want to bring some of these in, okay? And so why don't we talk about the things that we can change in here? So we'll go ahead and open up this one. At the, at the header level up here, by clicking this pencil over here, we can, instead of it in MindTap saying, counts towards grade. By unclicking it, we can make it practice. We can choose different grading options. We can edit the title. And we can also make it timed if you like. Perhaps if you want to use this as a quiz or if you know that they're going to be doing it in a computer lab or if they're going to be doing it at home, you want to make sure that they're not um, looking at any information. So you can make it timed if you like. Okay, And then just make sure that you click Save. And then these are the questions that are underneath this problem set. So again, the students are going to try each question three times. So there are six questions here. Okay, so there's 18 possibilities. Okay, so if that's too many for you, you can certainly delete some of these if you like. If one of these um, isn't, um, isn't something that you're looking for, just be aware that once you delete them, they're gone. Okay, so just make sure that um, you're comfortable with them not being around, that question not being in included anymore. If you'd like to make any adjustments to each one of these, maybe change the point value or the name of the title, you can click the pencil next to each one, okay? Change the point value, okay? And then even the name, and click Save. And you can do that for any one of these. And that pretty much is the extent of the um, customizing that you can do inside Applia. Now, if you are inside of one of these chapters or at the unit level, whichever, and you'd like to add an additional Apply assignment, you can. By coming up to this plus, you'll click here. You'll come down to Add Activity. You'll choose Apply Assignment. And then you'll be able to select the Apply assignment that you'd like to um, bring into MindTap. These items are already in MindTap. Notice these all have the check marks here in this path. Okay. But these do not. And because they do not, because they're not already in MindTap, you can add them. Again, you can change some of the settings if you like. And then you'll click Continue. Once you do, you can change the description. You could give a due date if you like. And you can even change the order. Maybe I want this to be right in front of my student's face. So I'll make it before chapter one. I could even put it inside of one of these sections, inside of a chapter section if I like. So you can really put it anywhere that you like. But in this case, we'll put it before chapter one. So it'll be all the way at the top. And here it is. This is the Apple assignment that we added. It counts towards grade, and it's due at 11 o'clock tomorrow. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.